Hello everybody and welcome. Welcome. Hope you're all well. Um, moving on today, moving on today, in the last session I did say that we were going to need a database. What I'm going to do today is show you how to install the Influx database on the Raspberry Pi. It's the version 2, all right? And what it is, it's uh, an open source time series database, TSDB. So it's ideal for storing data um, with timestamps over a determined period of time. Now, we need a database. There's, diff there's all sorts of databases. There's what they call SQL, structured query um, language. Um, but we are going to um, install the influx DB. Now, first thing we need to do, right, let me just go over to here. Right, we need to put this instruction in, right, this command. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this command um, below in the uh, description. Hopefully uh, YouTube will let, let it let it buy, but sometimes they do do um, disallow them for some of the for some of the uh, different codes. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to quickly uh, talk through it. So if you want to copy this command, you need to uh, stop the video here and copy it. So it's wget space dash q space https colons forward slash forward slash repos dot influx data dot com forward slash influx data dash arch archive underscore compact dot key echo or one word space quotes then there's this long number three nine three e Eight seven seven nine C eight nine A C eight D nine five eight F eight one F nine four two F nine A D seven F B eight two A two five E one three three F A D D A F nine two E one five B one six E six A C nine C E 4C space influx data dash archive underscore compact dot key quote space line space SHA 256SUM space dash C space and and space cat C A T space influx data dash archive underscore compact dot key space line space gpg space dash dash dear more space line pseudo t space t space forward slash etc forward slash apt forward slash trusted dot gpg dot d forward slash influx data dash archive underscore compact dot gpg space greater than space forward slash dev forward slash null echo all one word is it all one word let me just check dear more null echo um quote deb space square brackets on signed dash by equals or slash etc forward slash apt or slash trusted dot gpg dot d or slash influx data dash archive underscore combat dot gpg square brackets off base https colons forward slash forward slash repos dot influx data dot com or slash debian space stable space main uh, quotes space 
line space sudo space t space forward slash etc forward slash apt forward slash sources dot list dot d forward slash influx data dot list okay so copy that exactly the same as what i've got there all right the long command the reason I, i've done it and tested it is because i didn't want any mistakes all right and i've already installed it but i'll press enter okay and as you can see i've already um installed it now what you'll do is it'll come up and it'll ask you uh, to confirm and you press yes enter and it will load it takes a, a minute or two to load but once it's loaded it's done all right and then the next thing you need to do is sudo oh, let me move my keyboard sudo apt okay that's get update space and and space sudo apt get install influx db two all right and press enter all right and then it will install uh the packages i've already installed mine so uh mine shouldn't take too long <laughs> okay so influx uh, db is already uh, the newest version so i've already installed it but yours would say setting up influx uh, db2 slash cli and the version all right next thing we need to do let me clear this the next thing we need to do make sure i'm on the uh the right view yep okay we now need to start the database. So it's sudo service influx db all right space start enter all right and then that starts the database all right now we need to know the um status so what you can do press your up arrow all right and backspace right and we want a uh, status all right press enter and there you go active running right active running that's the important part all right that means the service is uh running all right now what we need to do let's just minimize this and open a browser all right i've already started mine you need to put in we look here we need to put in your ip address your raspberry pi then we need to do colons 8086 enter all right and you should get this window come up all right this window should come up I'm just making sure you can see that yep so this is our uh, welcome to influx db uh get started in just a few steps all right so what we do we need to do the initial setup so we press get started this will take you to um set up initial user now you want to think of a username all right i always use my nickname fatch and then you need to put a password in all right hopefully this is not going to show my password good 
So put your password in and it has to be at least eight characters. Confirm your password. All right, so you confirm your password. Now, initial organization name. All right, I'm just going to call mine home. All right, and you want a bucket. Right, a bucket is where your time uh, series data is stored uh, with the redemption po um, um, policy. So if you click on there, it tells you. So I'm going to call my bucket. Um, what should I call my bucket? Um, I'm going to call it the same as my username. All right. I'm going to call it the same as my username. Right. So once you've done that, for some reason there should be a continue. Yeah. Over here, continue. <coughs> Now, it'll ask you, I don't know if you've got this on yours, but save password, I always save mine. All right? You are ready to go. All right? You are ready to go. Then, if you uh, press a quick start, okay, comes up with this window, getting started. All right, uh, you write your queries, etc., etc. Command line interface. Um, we got Python, Node.js, Go, and Arduino. We got all these useful links down here to the right hand side, and we got different icons here which we're going to go into in a later uh, session. All right. But at this moment in time, I just wanted to show you how to install the database. Okay. So that's how we install the Influx DB database. All right. Time, sens uh, time sensitive database. Um, next session, what we're going to do we're going to use this database um, to look at the readings on our Raspberry Pi, the temperature, the CPU usage. And we're going to set up a database for that. All right. So hopefully uh, you uh, enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Okay. And I'll see you in the next video. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Bye-bye.